This is awesome. It's a con candy maker. Okay, here we are. Look at that. You can see, look at that. Ugh. Yuck. Long day traveling. Okay, so after my foot rub there, look what I got. I'm not even supposed to eat these either, but oh well. Um, I'm gonna freeze them and just eat them a couple months. I gotta lose some weight. So, when you travel a lot, you tend to gain a little bit of weight. The gun, you are under arrest. Okay. Okay, so before I begin the obituary here with tonight's video, um, this was the worst school shooting in history. I'm live here at the grave. So this guy supposedly killed about a hundred people, bombed and shoot him because he lost some type of election. And uh, this is the worst school shooting in Michigan history. Now we know about the Oxford uh, shooting situation. As of right now, I don't have any grave uh, details on where these people are buried. Ron, wide open the shot. He scores! Okay, as you could see, we were sleeping in Bath, Michigan for the night, which we were very extremely tired. Now for the grave of the worst murderer in the United States history in the state of Michigan, Andrew Philip Kehoy, February 1st, 1872, Tecumseh, Michigan, birth. His death date was May 18th, 1927, age of 55, Bath Township, Michigan. Burial, Mount West Cemetery, St. John's, County, Michigan. This guy went out and bombed a school, his wife, and a truck holding some school administrators. Eight, 1927, May 18th. He killed 44 people, mainly school children. 58 others were injured. He was the bath board, treasurer of the school, buildings maintenance man and the school bus driver when he wasn't working his farm. And he got angry over taxes being raised, which he blamed his financial woes on. And of course, he learned these explosives from the military. He acted very obsessed with the desire of revenge is what kind of person he is on the school board. On the day of the massacre, he used hundreds of pounds of dynamite to blow up the school and most of the people within the community. Uh, I guess early in that morning, he murdered his wife, Neely, blew up his house and barn. He drove the bus with many students to the school, and I guess he dropped them off saying, this is this gonna, gonna be your last day. He quickly went home after the explosion on the school, drove to the, back to the school, where he then called three community men over to his truck. He blew it up, killing himself and four other people, including the school superintendent Emery Huck. He hated that person for whatever reason. So as I said before, this is the worst disaster school attack 
in the history of the United States. We all know about the Axford shooting. I was trying to find the grave of those uh, people killed, the students. Unfortunately, it's not yet listed. So I guess this is the worst, but next best thing. So this is the grave. And here he is, and he's just a little pot. Uh, I guess when you become an idiot, you become a pot. And it's just weeds. So this was the uh, worst school shooting in history. We've been having a lot of them lately. Back in my day, it was just pulling fire alarms and slashing bus tires but now it turns to shooting so um i don't know what to say when i was down in connecticut i forgot to go to uh sandy hook school but which is good because i'm gonna go back there they got a memorial there so i guess uh they just threw a pot down for them and there he is right there so just a shame what happened, but that was back in old school times. But regardless, with the population that low, that's still a massive uh, number of people. So, and you see it's a very nice day out here in the graveyard. I like taking a walk out here because it's usually peaceful. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going. I hope you enjoy tonight's film feature. Please make sure and check out my other videos. Have a great day. A little break here. Another veteran, Sergeant James Bates. Thank you for serving. 1901, 1994, 93 years old. Or just shy of 93 it looks like. Oh, no, just hit it. There you go. James A. Bates. Hazel.